I am the chains with Michael and this is the origins of our internet war game. People play this game turn out to be bad as a video game addiction. So without the further ado, all I have to say have a good ice cream sundae and let's watch. <laughs> intro to start with the pixel art. I really like this uh, classic of pixel art. It's kind of like a 1980 old school video game arcade. Here is the, the top top 10 people that dies because of video games. Let's see how it is a bad thing stuff. The back then before. In 2007, 16 year old. Uh, first of all, this, this, this was a bad boy, the Daniel Patrick. This, this still, still been a plane like the, he likes to play the sci fi, the shooter, the Halo 3, this, which is a popular. And it was a, and in fact, the day he was turned out, the day he just, he would, he would say that angrily towards the parents and it would receive it in paper, games, gun, pistols, the secret gates. But then he proceeded to have to kill, he decided to kill the both of his own parents and that is absolutely wrong. Well, Daniel Petrick shot both of his parents over a disagreement about Halo 3. After his parents found out that he had purchased the game, the Halo 3 games footage on YouTube though back then 2008 and between 2010. Game against their wishes, they took it away and locked it in the home safe. Yep, I knew it. I knew it was that when I hear it in my family says get this up and get it off the television but that I would play this 30 minutes straight, but not gonna go into the takes much longer. I was only playing the 30 minutes straight. And then uh, not even the laziness of getting the addicted. Daniel found the key to unlock the safe. Unfortunately, his game was right next to a gun. Oh no, he's, he's gonna take the pistol. Reacting on impulse, Daniel grabbed the gun. He then snuck up behind... There's also another case, which is actually... Daniel Patrick from Brazil. Yeah, yeah, he's, he did as they are. So he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a stole of the dad to save the key to his to his to take the games and he he just he takes the one of the pistol to so it's actually a, it actually what it just looks like a, a real illegal weapon so that the guns collected uh, where the, his parents so he's a so he takes the gun and Wilde has to sneak into the family's room to the province and it's knock up the and the behind the third to the moment and and guess what? And he's about to he's about to do it. Behind his parents and said, Would you close your eyes? I have a surprise for you. Then he shot them both, killing his mother and critically injuring his father. After Daniel shot both of his parents, oh my God, Daniel, you are immoralized. He then put the gun in his father's hand so he could make it look like a murder suicide. So he's attempted frames that he's dad is killing his, his own mother. That's not been true, but the Daniels actually did. As the police arrived on scene, they found Daniel trying to flee in the family van with the halo. Halo 3 game in the passenger's seat. Because of his age, Daniel could not have been given the death penalty. He was given life in prison and won't be eligible for parole until 2032. I hope you rot in jail and I hope you just release from the jail and then turn to the older. Daniel Petri, you are one stupid bad boy. 
In 2012, an 18-year-old only known as Chuang died at an internet cafe in Taiwan after reportedly playing the video game Diablo 3 for 40 hours straight and attended... Yeah, I knew it. I knew it to the better to watch out. So, I was at a, I went to the... I wonder how we went to the internet cafe at the hotel and resort. So I would just have to not to the pay of it. I would have to pay on the pay on the bills to have to decide to play these in front of computers that are only the 30 minutes straight. That is exactly the Asian people. What the Asian boy actually did there. Did at the cafe found you. So luckily, the Michael's a didn't avoid it. But Michael's avoided from a video game addiction that he's he only played like a 30 minute straight and it takes a break and in and out and it continued playing. On resting on the table next to his I hope so Michael have the console or the hand handles still have. Computer. The attendant I, welcome I have a Xbox One and an Xbox 360. Good. Up. Even a Wii and a Nintendo Switch. And also, I have the Nintendo DSi still is running. And my Nintendo DS, uh, my D Nintendo DSi is still uh, it's turned to 16 years old. Stood up, took a few steps, and then collapsed onto the ground. He was pronounced dead soon after arriving at the hospital. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> that was just absolutely bad. His death was due in part to a blood clot in his leg, presumably. Oh my goodness, blood clot! Be from sitting in front of that computer too long. Blizzard, the parent. Here's what I have to. Uh, here's what I have to have to say to the boys. Uh, boys and girls are gonna tell you this, but moral of the story: never to sit in front of computers. It takes too long. Parent company over Diablo released a statement that said, We feel that moderation is clearly important, and that a person's day-to-day -day life should take precedence over any form of entertainment. So here's the moral of the story, I gotta tell you this. Never to sit in front of the computer or console that takes a few a while, and is going to make things addiction worse than life. A 17-year-old Philippine teen murdered his own grandmother after she... Oh no, not the boy just killing his own grandmother. Gosh, man. I don't like this being having murders. Interrupted his Dota match. The teen... But Zhuang said that Taiwan is an Asian boy that is now... We incinerated the bone from the light, light their side, the inside the internet. That the Philippines boy, this, this was did the killing his own grandmother. But I do not do has. I will never abusing the grandparents before. Ian had been playing Defense of the Agents in a neighborhood internet cafe. His grandmother, who told him not to play that game anymore, went to pick him up and return him to their home. When the woman began scolding him about the game, he alleges that he blacked out and beat his 68-year-old grandmother to death. I feel bad for his grandmother. Oh my god, my heartbreaking. I would I would she never, may rest in peace. Yeah. I would never hurt the, our grandparents. Because I have uh, my aunties, I have my uncles, I have my grandparents and step grandmother and other grandmother. They make me the, they're going to have to take care of me to make it live the family tree. But without any the possibly the dust Domestically, the violent situation and all that stuff. Oh, God. Oh, Philippine, you are such a bad boy. You are one of the family's family homicides. 
Why would this hurt the grandmother doing that? God.